John Stanley is the author of Mickey Price, Journey to Oblivion, and he is here to talk about his new book and getting children to read. So tell us about your book. Well, it's, a, it's an action adventure. It's a dad who's telling a story to his twins, a boy and a girl, about the greatest adventure he had when he was a kid, when he was their age. And at first they don't really believe it, but as the story goes along they start thinking, maybe this actually happened. In the story he was invited to a space camp along with some other kids, and pretty quickly they realize it's not just a camp, it's actually a training center and they're being uh, trained to go to the moon. Hmm. I feel like this is Clark Kent telling us about Superman. I mean, <laughs> the book is about a guy who's telling stories to his kids, you know, telling stories to his kids, and this is kind of what inspired you. Yeah. Well, I actually, I, I didn't take a great leap from reality. I, I have twins, and I've been telling them stories since they were old enough to listen. And when they got in about third grade or fourth grade, I realized they were competing with some, I was competing with some great authors, with the Harry Potter books, with the Lightning Thief books, and I thought, I'd better pick up my game a little bit, and I decided to actually write a book uh, myself. Tell us about the fun things that you do with your children before you read a book. Well, uh, one thing we do, uh, actually in, in my family, it's, it's a game we play sometimes. It's the first line of the book game, uh, where somebody can go and pull a book down off the shelf. doesn't have to be a book that anybody's read. And they write down the first line of the book. And everybody else writes down what they think would be a good line, a good first Just line for that book. Title. Based on the title, based on the cover. You throw them into a hat, the person that pulled the book down from the shelf reads them, and then everybody votes. So it's a chance to be creative. That's a what would make idea. a good line? Yeah. And uh, yeah. how do you inspire kids? You know, this book is geared towards middle schoolers. How do you inspire them to read? Well, I, I, think, uh, I think two things. One, as a parent, you've, you've got to make time for your kids to read. You've got to make them read. It's got to become a habit. Schedule time, even if it's just 15 minutes a day, they've got to sit down and have book time, quiet time. The other thing is make sure you find a book that they like that's interesting. Uh, I wrote my book to be interesting to boys and girls, uh, but uh, there are also great books if your kid likes uh, football great books about football written by football players. If your kid loves animals, find a book for them about animals. And I've got some uh, some recommendations on my website. That's great. And how excited uh, were you to get the review back from Buzz Aldrin, astronaut Buzz Aldrin? Well, there's, there's 12 uh, people who have walked on the moon, actually. They call themselves the Dusty Dozen. <laughs> Buzz Aldrin was the second one down the ladder. Uh, and I'm just, I'm really honored to have a great quote from him on the back of the book. Uh, he's really hoping that, uh, that this book and also his books, he's a writer too, can inspire a next generation of leaders and scientists and adventurers. Well, John will be signing copies of his book at Flyleaf Books in Chapel Hill this Sunday from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m.